What is this new law called the Criminal Procedure Identification Act 2022? What is this new law? Well, the whole script of this new law begins with the Identification of Prisoners Act 1920. Yes. Is Adhiniyam ne police adhikariyon ko doshiyon aur giraftar vyaktiyon ke ungliyon ke nishan pairon ke nishan aur tasweeron ko ekatr karne ki anumati di thi 1920 ka jo law tha in teen cheezon ko wo collect kar sakte the 100 saal purane is kanoon ko अधिनियम 2022 द्वारा निरस्त कर दिया गया है। In other words, 1920 law has been repealed, superseded by the new law of 2022. The Criminal Procedure Identification Act 2022 addresses the changing needs of time changing needs of the time and challenges in the investigations of criminal offenses. Yes. Ye kisi bhi doshi ya kisi aparad ke liye giraftar kiye gaye vyakti se measurement collection ka pravadhan karta hai. Ye jo naya adhiniyam hai 2022 ka. The term measurement has a very wide scope if one was to compare it with the erstwhile 1920 Act. However, now not only one could collect the footprints, the fingerprints, but an extensive range of one biological samples and their analysis two behavioral attributes including signatures handwriting and three examinations under section 53 and 53a of the criminal procedure code which includes blood semen hair samples and swabs and analysis such as DNA profiling. Ye measure measurement mukhyata char prakar ke vyaktiyo se ekatr kiya ja sakta hai. Four categories of people from whom this measurement can be collected. Any person convicted of an offense, meaning a convicted person. Two, any person ordered to give security for his good behavior and maintaining peace under the appropriate provisions of the CRPC. Third, any person, any person arrested with respect to an offense punishable by any law and, and four, Fourth category of person being any person detained under the preventive detention law. Now, Sathi magistrate Janch me Sahayata ke liye kisi bhi vyakti na ki kebal ek giraftar kiya hua vyakti kisi bhi vyakti se measurement collection ke adesh de sakta hai. Janch ko aid karne ke liye. Janch me Sahayata karne ke liye. But there is a significant exception under this act available to the arrested person, not, not the convicted person, to the arrested persons. The exception says that any person arrested for an offense, any person arrested for an offense committed under any law that may be in force at that time may not be obliged to allow the taking of his biological samples. 
However, other identification elements like fingerprints, etc., he cannot withhold. He cannot resist that. But giving biological samples, he can resist. That's the that's that's an important exception. Now, incidentally, this exception which I was talking about of you know resisting biological samples is not available. So there is further exception to the exception. Is this, this exception is not available for an offense against a woman or a child or any offense punishable with imprisonment for a period not less than seven years. This appears to be a very reasonable exception to me. Or in sabhi measurements ko naye adhiniyam ke tahet kaun collect kar sakta hai? Ek police adhikari ya ek jail adhikari dwara ye katr kiya ja sakta hai. Ye jo measurements hai. And another important ingredient the data collected will be retained in digital or electronic form for a period of 75 years. 75 साल तक ये डेटा को सरकार रख सकती है। उन व्यक्तियों के 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 मामले में रिकॉर्ड नष्ट कर दिया जाएगा, जो सभी अपीलों के बाद बरी हो जाते हैं या बिना मुकदमे के वो रिहा हो जाते हैं। उनका वो रिकॉर्ड जो भी है वो डिस्ट्रॉय कर दिया जाएगा। but there are some noises about this law being violative of our fundamental and, and human, human rights. There are some noises. Uh, you know, violations such as one cannot be compelled to be a witness against himself and right to privacy. People are making noise about this law being violative of these rights. Ye kanun अपराधिक न्याय प्रणाली की पूर्ति में कितना वैध और फायदेमंद होगा यह तो समय ही बताएगा उससे पहले कुछ नहीं कहा जा सकता हो सकता है यह कानून चैलेंज हो न्यायालय में और न्यायालय इसको किस तरह से देखता है वो तो समय ही बता पाएगा बट ओवरऑल दिस लॉ सीम्स टू बी अ वेरी फॉरवर्ड लुकिंग लॉ to me and quite in tune with the modern times. Thank you. Namaskar.